Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. <laughs> all right, this is going to be a quick lesson on whether God hates sinners. And the answer is yes. And the scriptures are going to show it. All right, yes, God hates the evildoers. If you do wickedly, God hates you. Simple, because you've chosen wickedness over righteousness. All right, that's why the scriptures talk about in Revelations, let the wicked be wicked and still, and let the righteous be righteous still. You're either going to be righteous or you're going to be wicked. It's you're either or, right? The scriptures tell you that God is angry with the wicked every day. Okay, because the wicked are constantly at work. All right. So the Lord is not dealing with the wickedness. He hates the wickedness. He hates people that commit sin, people that willfully commit sin. He 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 can't stand it and he can't be with it. That's why we're so separate now. All right. That's why we have to go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh. Okay. He had to die for our sins so that we can go through him to get to Yahweh. All right. So the Lord is separate from wickedness, man. So the Lord, yes, hates the evildoer, the one that commits sin and that willfully sins. He hates them. It's that simple. All right. This is wisdom of Solomon 14 and nine for the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto God. So they're both alike. So the ungodly. And his ungodliness, meaning what he does for, for for a living, really, are both the same. And they're hateful to God. And God hates it. All right. He hates the deeds of the wicked. It's that simple. All right. So, yes, God hates. He hates the deeds of the wicked. This is uh, Proverbs 6 and 16. These six things doeth the Lord hate. Yeah, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that showeth discord among brethren. <laughs> My son, keep thy father's commandment. And forsake not the law of thy mother, all right, which is keeping the wisdom, all right, the law stage of commandments and keeping the wisdom. That's what you're supposed to do. But this is the things that the Lord hates, all right. So, yes, the Lord hates and he hates the wicked, all right, the evildoers, all right. When you do these wicked, wicked things, God hates you, all right, because you're doing what is against him and he hates wickedness, all right. He hates it. All right. This is a uh, Sirach 12 and six. It says plain as day. This is plain. Sirach 12 and six for the most high hateth sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. So it says right there, God hates sinners. Yes, God does hate he hates sinners. And the scriptures also tell you that he hates Esau. All right. A whole nation of people. All right. So, yes, the God hates and he does hate the sinner. It's that simple. All right. The scriptures even tell us what to do when dealing with a sinner. Verse seven, give unto the good and help not a sinner. To help not the sinner. So you don't even help them. All right. They can't even help themselves. Based on their own lifestyle. They want to continue to do wickedly. So let them continue to do wickedly. But don't help them. Alright. But help them that are good though. But not the sinner. So with that. All honor, glory and praise to. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.